Hello, this is Les Walkling and welcome to our short presentation on correctly printing printer profiling test charts on the Mac OS via Roy Harrington's superb print tool. After starting print tool, click on the add button and navigate to where the test chart is located. In this example, I'm going to print our A4 TC277 black and white printer profiling test chart. Print Tool has superb page layout options, making it easy to centre the test chart, scale it to 100%, ensuring there is no interpolation. Select the correct printer, in this case an Epson P800 A2 desktop printer. Also ensure no colour management is selected, and the Epson Advanced Black and White mode is enabled, so the Mac OS Colour Sync Colour Management System can be nulled out of the print path. Open the Paper and Print Settings dialog and check the correct paper path is selected. Also check that colour matching is set to Epson colour controls and that the print settings are set to advanced black and white photo with the media type and resolution we have recommended. For example, in this case a semi-gloss photographic paper is being profiled. So we've selected Epson's premium luster photo paper as the base media. If a matte surfaced fine art paper was being profiled, I'd instead select archival matte paper or enhanced matte paper. It's also important to select the highest possible print quality and turn off finest details. Clicking Run Print executes the printing of the test chart. Before finishing, please verify that the test chart has been correctly printed by checking that the 3mm thick black calibration bars are intact and all patches are printed without cropping. Once this is verified, the test chart can be packaged and sent to us for profile creation. I hope you found this informative and helpful and wish you all the best with your adventures in custom printer profiling.